Hello! Welcome back to Hogwarts again. Today we're just gonna jump right into it. Every single time she talks and gives me a heart attack. Um, last episode we did a bunch of side quests. And today I... We basically finished all of them because, I mean, we'll be able to do this as well. But we have so much stuff that we need to do, so I'm thinking we need to just start the main quest because we're never going to get it done if we don't. Okay, it has been so long since I've done any of the main quests that I have zero idea what this could be about. Why does everything look so clunky? Hey! Hello there, nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Oh. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgog is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If friend. he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Bet. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough. But between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. And that said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Fair enough. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. Okay. And I don't know what you've so... done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Okay, honestly, I don't know what I did either. <laughs> Is it just because they know... Oh, no, now that I think about it, they probably saw us go to the Gringotts place. And then that's what made them realize I'm special. <laughs> Welcome to the Ogs Head. Hey. The empty seat oh. is yours. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's literally a, oh. Can hey. You with something? Yes. Hello, Lord Gok. Serona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember the three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. Unfortunately. I am, and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Um. Oh, I, I'm assuming it has to be the Serona option. Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. That seems <laughs> risky. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. 
Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. They the were friends. Repair the chasm between us. Uh, it does kind of sound like a trap, but of course I'm going to do it. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever Ooh. supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okay, this feels like a very bad idea. Why does he all of a sudden seem very fishy? What do we have here? Oh. Demi guys. Ah! <gasps> But I can't get it because it's not nighttime. Okay, so there's one. We need to remember this. There's one here we need to get, and there's also one in the rhythm, whatever classroom we went in last time. How did you? <laughs> you were just in there. I'm ready. Okay. Am I ready? I don't know. There's no time to lose. I guess we're going. We just walk in there. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Erdgott. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Yeah, but I don't know if I trust you still, because it's all a little fishy. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Aha! Uh -huh. Ugh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? Ooh, a flu flame. <laughs> I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Yeah, why am I doing this? What about this helmet makes it so special? The Helmet of Ertgott is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. But why are we trying to help Ranrock? Like, isn't he the bad? I'm, I'm missing what's going on. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate. But I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Well, I'm holding up my end of the deal. It's basically just up to you here, sir, so... Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may mm -hmm. encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. <gasps> the Wait. foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. Th that's okay. Those, whatever, in fairy or whatever, is how I am supposed to get one of the ingredients for my potions. I think I ended up buying it last time, but either way. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Okay, just please don't betray me. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please. Be careful. Okay, if I come back and you're dead or you... <sighs> okay, it's a little crusty. Please just don't have spiders. I beg. I'm going to be very upset if I have to deal with spiders two episodes in a row. Oh. Lumos. Come here. Okay. More cave looking thing. What? 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 Merlin's beard. What? I'm lost. What? What happened? What am I looking at? Uh oh. Oh. It looks open. I don't think this is gonna be good. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely, I need to go further. Lumos. 
Well, we're gonna hope it's not, because if it is, we're in a little bit of trouble. Oh, what is that? Hold on, we're gonna grab this. Aha! -ha, okay. Whoops. My bad. Ooh, can I just be invisible for the rest of the game? They'll never know. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Oh man. What is it? Can I sneak around the corner and see? Oh. Oh. So now we're fighting zombies. Right. Huh? The fairy must be struck with fireflies to make them form. Oh. Okay, so. Oops. My bad. Oh, can I just. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Hey, 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 hey! Where did they just come from? Hold on, 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 hold on. <laughs> we are backing it up. Okay. Did I do it? <laughs> so far, we haven't dealt with spi- Oh my god, I did it again. Nice. Haven't dealt with spiders. So that's fine. I will take these zombie things over that any day. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Oh. Lumos. Aha. Aha. That took me way longer than I would like to admit. Okay, did it, finally. Now what? Is this a secret or is this going the way I'm supposed to go? What is that? Um, I'm sorry? That's all I had to do. Are you kidding? What's that hanging there? Uh huh? Looks precarious. Um. Boom. Okay, so this, um. Whoa. Oh my god. No oh. No, 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 no. Hold on. There is another way. For now. I don't know if I'm supposed to just push it, but it's working, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Man, I gotta go down. Oh. What? Okay, we're gonna go this way. I think the other way is the main part. Just wanna make sure I don't forget anything useful. Oh, what are you? What about... Um, okay. Oh. Oh, wait. <gasps> it's open! Wait, hold on. I didn't go this way. Ooh. <gasps> I should have gone the other way. <laughs> ah! Whoops. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoa. Okay, I barely dodged that one. Go away. Okay. Jeez. There's more? Oh my goodness. Okay, please be enough. Okay, now it's another one of these things. Are you kidding? <laughs> Let me up! Let me up! Why can I knock it up? What? So you're telling me I have to do this 14 million times? 
Lumos. Are you kidding? Ah! Oof, I almost didn't get that one. Lumos. 20 million years later. Witch's final resting place. Okay, this is probably Ulgot gonna be not fun. Was in her sarcophagus. Eh. The dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. So, what do we do? <laughs> Better show this to Lodgok. So they stole. Mm, I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Oh, okay, that's easy. <laughs> Oh, he is still here. We're good. Okay. Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. Man. My fighting days are behind me. Why do I have to do everything by myself? I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. <sighs> I think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Well, I'm not shocked. That's how everything has gone in this game. Okay, off we go. Oh no. <gasps> Oh, okay. Whoa. That was a lot easier than I expected it to be. What is this? That's going to send me into something else, isn't it? What is this? I just had to collect it? Apparently not. I cannot believe I just jumped down here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, please no more. If only whoa. Whoa, 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 what did I just do? Did I complete it? Um, is that a yes? <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what I just did, but I did something. And now we're gonna continue on again. Oh, we're going right next to a spider thing. I'm gonna do my absolute best to avoid it, if at all possible. I'm not even gonna look. We're just gonna continue going. <laughs> there they are. Oh, okay. The Ashwinders. Whoops. I think this is kind of the same thing we ran into last time that I could not defeat. So... I guess we'll do our best. Yikes, we're already off to a bad start. There's a troll? Oh my god. My stuff doesn't do like anything to him. Are they also fighting? Oh. 
Okay, bye. He's a chicken now. I don't know what that was. Okay. Ugh. <gasps> I got it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? Why, I just, I put... Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, was that it? Wait till Sebastian hears about this. And I'll find her. Sebastian! So, did I get everything then? Oh, there's a little trial over here. Let's hop up here and see if we can do this really quick. Could it be a Merlin trial? It is. I don't know if I got any Malasweet though. I did! Okay. Now, what is this one? Did that do something? Oh, it is flipping it. Wait, okay. Oh! Okay, so we just have to match the shapes. Is there another one? Oh, there's one down there. Oh my god, there's more th people I have to fight. Release me. Will do. Okay. Let's get this one flipped. Did I do it? Ahaha. Okay. Is it just two or is there a third one I didn't see? Oh, over here. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Ah. Okay, that one wasn't that bad. Took me a little bit, but we gotta figure it out. Now we can continue on. What did I just find? Oh, money apparently, okay. So we gotta make our way back. Oh, you can skip some- oh, that's fun. Make our way back to Lodgok and hand him the helmet. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. Yay! The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Well, I kind of oh, did, then but... I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This <laughs> should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. Wait. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. Hold on. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. He... What? Hold on. I thought... I thought the deal was that I'd get the helmet, and then he would tell me what he knew, and now he's being all secretive. What? I can't trust anyone in this game. Okay, so basically the last thing we have to do... Oh, 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 oh. If it does turn nighttime, we could get the two moons. Um, we also might as well finish this because I I, I don't know what else to do because it, it's not giving me anything else. Hello, friend. Oh. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Okay, well, we're already out here, so... As I mentioned, as well. my sister Agnes <gasps> is homeless, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. <laughs> By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Hey, Sebastian. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. <gasps> Please meet him there when you can. Mind now, Demi guys. Roland in quite some time. Who is I'm this? myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Is it not dark enough yet for me to grab him? 
Okay, so Deke and Sebastian is two of the main ones. Deke is so Deke. happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen <sighs> one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Oh. What is happening? Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can, on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts <gasps> would be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. What just happened? <laughs> Come on, then. So, does this mean I can get like pets and stuff? Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Okay, hold on, Deke. We, I am gonna really quick get the potion brewing that I need. This one. And then, do I have? Okay, we're gonna use that one. The thunder brew one that I'm brewing now, we need to use against an enemy. So, we'll let that brew, and we're gonna go talk to Deke. I wasn't planning on doing this, but now I I have... I, I want to. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. And have the sack. <laughs> Deke loves an outing. Yay! Deke is quickly becoming one of my favorite people. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Aww. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever oh, met. Mocking. A nasty poacher. Deke hated <gasps> working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. What? It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Oh, that's so sad. That we makes more sense. Makes more sense why Deke's Deke my favorite. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Tap T and then hover over the knapsack. <gasps> What did I just grab? You got one. Oh. Oh. It is so cute. Oh, Deke. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernal, perhaps. Oh, right. okay. Where would I find Deke one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Okay. Bye, Deke. Oh... I kind of want all of them, but at the same time, I feel like I need to save the space. I don't know if it... I don't know how many we can get. I'm assuming this means we're getting one step closer to unlocking a... Is it a hippogriff? Is that... Right word? Hi, <laughs> Deke. Whoops, I just ran... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> that was a little embarrassing. Deke, you did not see that. Oh, he's like, yes, I did. <gasps> Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Okay. 
What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. Aww. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. That's so but sad. Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Oh, he made Deke do some of... Oh. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Okay, let's do this. Now. Is it those things? So it wants me to use Levioso. Levioso. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Uh, I did it. That was easy. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Nope, don't worry. Going back to Deke. I got one. I rescued a Jobanol. Deke hopes your Jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd Ooh. of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Dig will see you there. On it. Made it. Ooh, and another flu flame. Yay. What are you up to now? Hello, Dig. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under oh, the light goodness. of the moon. So. Unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, Do I? you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. <laughs> Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Uh-oh. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Okay, so can I not? <gasps> I can. You have got to be kidding me. <gasps> oh my gosh, Lewis. look at them. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. You do cooperate, won't you? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Am I gonna get him? That one was trickier than the others. I did it. Oh. He looks kind of spooky. Okay, well now that I know this trick, I can get the moons I've seen. I don't know how I didn't know that. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon. That's what I now. said. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. Yay! All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Okay. Bing. While it's nighttime, I am going to get the dang things. Now, I swear, I better be able to get it this time or I'm going to be upset. Mind now, demi guys. There we go. 
Okay, there was also one, and we need to go back to Hogwarts for this one. It was in one of the classrooms. Okay, um, I believe the other moon was in a divination classroom. I'm assuming that the moons are just going to be like along the path of where we have to go for other quests. So I'm not necessarily too concerned about having to go and Hello. I'm not going to talk to you because technically I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> okay, we're going to return the ones we've found so far. I think we found three total. I don't- I just- mm. Just in case, I'm gonna turn- give them to him as we go- Oops, I went the wrong way. As we go, just because I'm not sure if it's gonna- I don't know, just to be safe, you know. What is happening here? <laughs> I think I just heard another key. I found it. Got it. Okay. Another one of these done. Give you some of these. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, bring me a few more moons and I'll show you how to improve casting Alohomora. Great. I'll keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. Cool. Oh, we have four. Okay. Okay, what is this all about? There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But <laughs> Why do you look at me like that? Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. So... Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that looks like it's hurting my head. Hmm. What exactly did you think of? Apparently that. <laughs> I'm so far... What... what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Oh. Okay, say less. <gasps> no way. It's just a whole little world. Look at this. Oh, it's Deke is so cute. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. So, manage beasts, H. God. Oh. Oh. That bird was ready to get out. Oh. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too, but if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Okay. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. Ooh. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Deke can show you how to use them. Deke just Very knows well. everything. I shall let you know when I have some. Yay! Okay. Can Most I brush in? Excellent. Yay! 
Oh, look at him. Okay, and now I gotta feed him. Nom nom. Okay, now you. Let's brush you. You look kind of spooky, but I'm gonna go with it. And then now your little snack. And I collect that. Yay! Okay, where's the bird? Do you like being brushed or do you not? I don't. I can't tell. <laughs> okay, now give you a snack too. A feather. Okay. What do I do with my stuff? I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. Yay! First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Oh. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, oh. making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Okay. <gasps> what? So, do I go- Oh, do I just literally walk back in and I'm in the thing? Wow! Whoa, that looks cool. Okay, well, I got my potion. There's some stuff we need to identify. I have dragon eyes. What the- okay. They're not better, so we're just gonna leave it. Um, I needed to make a loom, so... I need... this... Utility loom. What is that? Oh, that's the thing. Okay. Whoa. I guess just right there. <laughs> okay, now how do I... Whoa, okay. Add or upgrade a secondary st Oh, so this is how I apply traits and stuff. Let's upgrade that. Yay! Should I upgrade- Eh, why not? Let's upgrade the creepy glasses. So we have stuff upgraded. That's cool. Okay, well I can't do any of those anyways. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. Where is he? Deke! Oh, you're right here. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Will do. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality, Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Yay! Thank you for your help, Deke. Okay. Well, okay. Let's get a little recap here. So we did the Lodgog stuff, we did the whole Deke thing, and now we can get animals. We got another key. Now we have like half of those, so that's pretty good. These moons are going to be a little annoying, but I think I'm going to see the Sebastian quest until next time. Yeah, because that's the next main thing. And then I'm assuming we're going to end up running into something because we also have to talk to Serona and whoever Adelaide is. Sounds like Kool-Aid, but I'm going to start calling her Kool-Aid. We'll leave all that for next time though, and I'm assuming we'll be able to run into something where we'll have to use a Thunderbird potion, so that'll have us complete that one. If not, we'll just go find some random thing next time, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, with that we're gonna have this pretty little vivarium in the background. <laughs> there you go, me and Deke just looking in, but yeah, with that we're gonna leave that there. We caught up a little bit um hopefully we start making some more progress but maybe next time i won't get stuck on the stupid quest thing I'm trying to get the the mother what i almost called it a butterfly moth and a butterfly anyways we're gonna leave here hopefully you enjoyed i will see you all next week for more hogwarts legacy bye